What's up everyone, Carter here. Today you're gonna learn exactly how to start dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace as a complete beginner. We're gonna go over exactly what Facebook dropshipping is, how it works, in an easy step-by-step -step layout. I'm even bringing on a multi-million dollar dropshipper to share all his best tips and strategies with you. So please do me a favor and smash that like button and let's go ahead and get right into the video. So here we are with the Paul J. Lipsky and I'm super excited because today he's gonna be talking about a new method of dropshipping that not many people know about he just informed me recently about it um, and it's something that I needed to bring him on the channel to talk about so Paul thank you so much for coming back on the channel we all appreciate it. everyone smash that like button for Paul and I'm gonna go ahead and let you take it over from here thank you so much I'm super excited to share this with you because when I figured this out when I first found out about this and started doing it I was really blown away I I was very surprised first of all that it worked but really happy that it worked and it was like all hands on decks. I said, told all everyone that worked for me, all my VAs, like, stop what you're doing. This is what we're going to concentrate on because this is the next thing that no one knows about. A huge opportunity is working really, really well. It's called Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping. I'm going to show you today how you can dropship on Facebook Marketplace as a beginner because this is without a doubt, the easiest place to start selling, start drop shipping as a beginner. And I'll show you how to do that step-by-step step. as proof. Like the only skill you really have to master here is how to copy and paste, which I'm sure you already know how to do. So let's get into this. So just to show you how well this is working, uh, Facebook, their marketplace is a little bit strange, but this basically shows you how much some of my students make per week. So this, you know, Facebook pays you on a rolling basis. So this only shows you the, the past week. So I mean, my students here, they're doing thousands of dollars every single week with this. And I'll, I'll show you more about this later. What is Facebook Marketplace dropshipping? I'll quickly kind of explain what this is for the, those of you who don't know. What we'll do here is we will first talk about dropshipping and then we will talk about Facebook Marketplace and then kind of bring it all back together. What is dropshipping? Dropshipping is without a doubt, the simplest e-commerce business model that exists. Because what it is, is we have a buyer here. She's shopping on Facebook Marketplace and she goes ahead and buys an item, let's say for $100 from you. Then you turn around, spend a portion of that, about $60 in this example, buying the item from your supplier. And then the supplier ships the item directly to your customer. So what this means is that you don't hold the inventory. You don't own the inventory. You haven't bought the inventory up front. All the inventory is stored with your supplier. It's still there. And only after someone buys it from you on Facebook Marketplace, only then do you purchase the item from your supplier and the supplier ships the item directly to your customer. So it's completely hands-off in terms of that and really, really low risk because you're not buying a whole bunch of items that might never sell. You only buy the items once they've already sold. So it really flips the whole thing upside down. So the suppliers that we use, we're using other retail websites like walmart.com, amazon.com, homedepot.com, overstock.com, wayfair.com. And the reason we do this is because we're trying to keep this as simple as possible because this works. If we're drop shipping from like Walmart, from Overstock, from Amazon.com, it's really easy to get set up with it, really easy to start it, and very easy to scale it. We don't have to worry about dealing with like wholesale suppliers or trying to form all these special deals. Don't worry about any of that stuff. If you've ever shopped on Amazon.com, you can literally drop ship from Amazon to Facebook Marketplace. There's nothing special that you have to do differently on Amazon in order to do this on Facebook Marketplace. And we'll, we'll talk more about that. So that is what dropshipping is, this very basic model. So now we will talk about what Facebook Marketplace is. Because I know a lot of people don't actually know what this is. And really like a year and a half ago, I never really used Facebook Marketplace either. So this is Facebook Marketplace right here. And there is a huge variety of items for sale here. So everything, there's AirPods here, there's cars, there's home appliances, there's furniture, there's Pokemon cards, there's you know Nintendo Switch here, there's uh, kitchen utensils, bikes, workout equipment, literally everything. And everything that's listed up for sale here is being sold by individual people. It's not like Facebook is selling these items. These are people that have listed up these items for sale saying, hey, I wanna sell these items huge variety. You can literally buy anything here. If you have a Facebook account, 
you already have access to Facebook Marketplace. You don't need to sign up for something new. You don't have to even opt into it. You literally already have it. There's a little icon on the top. That's a picture of like a, a shop. Click on that. That is Facebook Marketplace. So no extra steps for getting signed up or set up. If you have a Facebook account, you already have Facebook Marketplace. The way that Facebook Marketplace used to work is that let's say this woman here on the left, she wanted to buy this item from you. She would say, hey, I want to buy this item that you have listed up for sale. So you would have to meet up with her in person. She would hand you money and then you would hand her the item. So you would have to do that in person. Now, obviously that doesn't work for drop shipping, right? Because we don't want to meet up with the people in person because we don't actually own the items. We want the person to pay us over the internet and then we have our supplier ship the items to our customers. Luckily, we can now do that because uh, Facebook Marketplace last year, they added a brand new feature where they allow the sellers to offer the option to ship the items to our customers. So for instance, if I open up this bookcase uh, uh, shelf right here, you can see that down here on the bottom right, uh, or rather right here, it says ships for free. That means that if I were to purchase this, the seller would actually ship the item to me. I wouldn't have to meet up with them in person. That feature that Facebook added last year, that is what unlocked the ability for us to do drop shipping. So check this out. This is an item for sale on Facebook Marketplace. It's it's these uh, this dresser, right? And you can see right here, it's called the Mainstays Six Draw Dresser. $250 ships for $25 is in stock. And here's a description right here. And you can buy it and the that seller would ship it to you. Look at this over here. If we go over to Walmart, this is the exact same item just for cheaper. So if I were to buy this item from this from that seller on Facebook, literally that person would just come to Walmart right here, click add to cart. And during the checkout process, instead of entering in their shipping address, they would enter in my shipping address. So then this dresser would ship directly to me. That is all they've done here. This is not something crazy fancy. They literally just took everything here on Walmart and pasted it into a listing on Facebook Marketplace and are now selling that item. That simple. So in this example, they're selling the item for $275. They then buy it for $200 here on Walmart and well, it's $275 after the shipping and shipping from Walmart's actually free. So they're making extra money here. And then once they buy the item for $200, Walmart's gonna ship the item directly to the customer. That is a $62.50 profit when you add it all in with the other ways to kind of maximize your profit on every sale. $62.50 for one sale. Now, if you do, the, do that for once a day, for a full month, just sell one item, that item every day for a month, Let's, if you pull out a calculator for this and we take the 6250 and we multiply that by 30 days, that's $1,875 in profit for one item. Could you use an extra $1,800 a month? I'm not promising you here some, some huge numbers, right? I'm not making some outlandish claim here. You know, these are real, concrete, reasonable realistic numbers for just for one item, an extra $1,800 a month. And my question is, could you use an extra $1,800 a month? And truth be told, if you could do this once, if you can do this with one item, you can do it with several items, many items every single month. You can just scale this up and up and up. So that's the power of drop shipping because with a lot of other models, you couldn't scale it up like this. You couldn't have such a simple business model that you could just find an item, list it up for sale and sell it multiple times. And that's combined with the simplicity of Facebook Marketplace because Facebook Marketplace is without a doubt one of the simplest, actually it is the simplest place I have ever seen to sell online. First, you're selling on a website that already exists, facebook.com, so you don't have to build a website and you already have a Facebook Marketplace account if you have a Facebook account. So nothing new to sign up for. You also don't have to buy inventory upfront because you only buy it once someone pays you for it. You don't have to store that inventory because there's no inventory to store. And Facebook has a ton of customers ready to buy items. Remember, anyone with a Facebook account already has a Facebook marketplace, uh, already has access to Facebook marketplace. And we know there are literally billions of people with Facebook, Facebook accounts. Pretty much every American has a Facebook account which means that all of them have access to Facebook Marketplace 
And they're all going to see your items when they list them for when you list them for sale. So there are a ton of people there already ready to buy items. You just have to list them up for sale. And that's why you need very little, actually no experience to get started with this and is very, very easy to scale. And that's why students like, like this, after just one week of joining the course, $1.5,000 in profit, Brian says. That's how they're able to do that so quickly with this. Really, anyone can start it. Pretty much no cost to get started with it. Very, very low cost. And it's very, very simple. With Facebook, unlike other websites, there's no limit on how many items you list. So you can just start listing up items right away. And they're not going to tell you, hey, you can only list up 10 items this month. No, you can just list to your heart's content when it comes to Facebook. The fees on Facebook are also lower than anywhere else I've seen. The lowest fees compared to any other marketplace I've ever seen. So that means more profit in your pocket. And the customers are great. So on other marketplaces, you start selling, the customers can get really angry. You know, They expect really outstanding customer service and they're really unreasonable. On Facebook, they are so, so nice and they're willing to work with you even when there's problems. Also, Facebook has very easy rules, very lax rules. So it's hard to violate their rules and get kicked off the platform. Um, that just doesn't happen with Facebook Marketplace. And more importantly, it is just a huge untapped opportunity. Not many people know about dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace yet. It's still very, very fresh and new, which means the demand far outweighs the supply. So you have to come in, create those listings, and fill in that demand that people have. This is literally the best time ever to start dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace before everyone else finds out about it. And I think even after they find out about it, it's still going to be an incredible opportunity because there's literally billions of customers on Facebook Marketplace. So now comes the question, how do you actually do this? Now that you understand what Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is, how do you actually do this? Step number one, get a Facebook account. I'm going to skip this step because I'm going to assume you already have a Facebook account. Once you have a Facebook account, you have access to Facebook Marketplace and you can start selling on Facebook Marketplace. Step number two, find products to sell. Now, I don't want to spend a ton of time on product research right now because there's multiple different ways to do this for Facebook Marketplace. But one of the easiest ways to do this is to literally see what's already selling well on other websites similar websites. So on eBay, for instance, eBay will actually show you what products are selling well on their website. So if I come over here, I can look at this person who's drop shipping on eBay and it shows me right here, all the products that they are selling successfully. So this item sold 300 times. This one sold 95 times. This one sold 69 times. This one sold, if we open it up uh, multiple times today, it sold once in the past hour and you open that up, it shows you it's, it's been selling like crazy over the past week. So these are items that are selling really well on eBay. And from, from all the research I've done, all the testing that me and my team have done, we've seen that if it sells well on eBay, it's going to sell well on Facebook Marketplace as well. So we literally just take these same items that are really popular on eBay and sell them on Facebook Marketplace and they sell. So that means step number three then is we actually have to list that product up for sale. Now, like I said, this is just a copy and paste. Copy everything from Walmart, paste it onto Facebook Marketplace. But I'll do you one better. I developed this software that does all that for you. So this is an item on Amazon that I want to sell on Facebook Marketplace. I could copy and paste everything, but like just like that. But instead, what I'm going to do, yeah, so I have this software right here. This is a software. And literally, all you have to do is click on this dropdown that the software adds. And what it does is it copies everything and pastes it for you. So boom, it just copied the, pasted the photos, the title, the description, all that with just one click. So you can have an item listed up for sale in a matter of seconds with pretty much no work on your part. And it marks it up in price. And then once you use it with, these, with this other software, this other software will let you know, hey, this item went out of stock or this item it's price change. That way you don't sell an item that's that's out of stock or, or that went up in price because we have automation software to make sure that we don't do that. And that's how we're able to do this. That's how my students are getting numbers like this. 
uh, uh, $11,000 in sales in the past 45 days at almost a 50% profit margin. And you know, you can see more of my students' results right here for proof that this actually works. Paul, thank you so much for breaking that down. I'm honestly, I was just watching it and just mind blown about just the opportunity because I mean, I've seen you evolve from, you know, drop shipping on different platforms and see a platform that, you know, already has a massive customer base, people using it, them creating a marketplace. I see it as a huge opportunity. So thank you so much for breaking that down. And also, I know a lot of people are going to ask me, Carter, how can I learn more from Paul? You know, I want to, I want to start a, you know, a Facebook marketplace drop shipping business. And, you know, I watched this 15 minute video, but I want more. I want to take action now. Do you what, what would you recommend for someone that's all in, they want to start this business, they want to invest in themselves, what would you recommend? Yeah, so I actually have a brand new course about how to drop ship on Facebook Marketplace. This is it right here. So this is a full video course, literally step-by-step, step, A to Z, exactly what you need. I don't assume that you know anything. So I'll teach you what drop shipping is. I'll teach you how to use Facebook Marketplace, how to get that set up. And this is very, very beginner friendly and very just literally click by click. Just follow along and I'll show you exactly what to do to set up and have a successful Facebook Marketplace dropshipping business. It also comes with other things like group coaching calls that you can watch. We also have included any updates to the course. You're going to get those included for free. You're also going to get customer service scripts and access to my private forum. So if you have any questions as you go through the course, you can just hop in here, ask the question, and you'll get answers from other students here inside the course. And of course, it comes with my 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. I try to just give you guys as much value as possible, try to make this as much of a no brainer, um, but this isn't open for enrollment all the time. So Carter, I'll give you a link. You can drop it down in the description. You guys can click on it, see if it's open for enrollment and get signed up before, before it closes again. Well, if you guys are interested in learning more about Paul's course or what it might have to offer, you can go ahead and click the link below in the description of this video and check it out. Anyways, Paul, thank you once again for coming back on the channel. If you'll have any questions regarding anything Paul talked about in this video, Feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to get back to as many as possible. If you got any value from this tutorial, please drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you were interested in seeing more content just like this on how you can create an additional stream of income online, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Paul, thank you so much for coming back on and we'll see you all in the next video.